Good morning veterans, so we're back with another analysis here and today we are going to check on the analysis what the market happened the OEM crash 75 so I'm going to analyze both the V75 and also the boom 500 and the crash 500 because I made this announcement earlier that we 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 we, we, are, we are not no, we're no longer trading the golden hours so the golden hours doesn't apply anymore guys because binary made some changes in the crashing boom market so you can apply the strategy as long as the trend line low is forward and also the entry and exit low is forward everything else is forward except the golden hours so guys let's get to it with the v75 Mm, as you can see here let's take a look at yesterday's analysis let's take a look at yesterday's analysis guys did we go with it was it correct so yesterday as I remember I said that I I I had a resistance level somewhere here and I say some guys to watch out for the for the for the pullbacks right yeah i told you to watch for the pullbacks so they were current they were a pullback here we had a pullback here and i said that if there is a break below let, let me draw the same rectangle that i okay I drew this line and I told you that any movement below yes we are here I told you any movement below this because I told you there will be a pullback right I told you there will be a pullback here there will be a pullback so any movement below this line the way we had this pullback then there was the candle this candle was here guys yesterday morning as you can see even the time was yesterday but that time the year marked at seven because it uses the gmt so guys when you check on the analysis now you can see that it went down so if someone took a a a, a cell here below fibers below it was triggered and i told you that the stop was supposed to be the last low high not this because this is just a retest on a resistance line i told you to be this one guys i told you this one so if you had a stop loss few pips here it was not triggered guys and now you could have still been in a range and we are going down so the same still applies today guys look for pullbacks so if you follow my yesterday's analysis guys <coughs> you could still be in a cell now and your stop loss could have never been hit and also your sell stop could have been triggered but your sell stop your stop loss would never be hit because i told you the stop loss supposed to be above the last few bits above the last lower high and it was here so you see the market went up but it was not triggered so my yesterday's analysis was correct guys if you follow it I, I there are few people watching the videos I know I know there are few people watching the video but if you follow this analysis even with a hundred dollar capital you can stay make it guys you can still make some profit still the same guys we are at a resistance level now I, I believe the 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 price here is trying to form ranges here it's trying to form some kind of ranges I, I mean yeah let me just <sighs> okay i believe he's doing so some kind of a bellish of a bellish range bellish range in market i believe so guys i believe so it's a bearish range in market so It's a bellish lending market, guys. I, I I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. It's, it's forming a bellish lending market. But anyway, anyway, if we'll have like 
a voice here and goes to hit here it's like we have the confirmation so we'll be looking for a reverse for a bullish move because we're kind of like in a downtrend not like we're in a downtrend guys so anyway we are looking for this but meanwhile we're just looking for pullbacks guys the same pullback for entries just pullbacks you can see this is a kind of, it's a pullback not kindly it's a pullback so you can use this to enter trades but i believe it's a ranging market i'm sure of it is a bearish ranging market so anyway if it's a ranging market it's way even better because we'll be looking for bounces here the bounces and the candlestick pattern reversal patterns in these trend lines so in the channels so sorry in the channels so you're looking for bounce back but anyway we're in the in our support resistance level so we expect to range in market here so and it maybe go up or we will make a major move like this one we had here so nothing from that guys we don't have like uh wait a moment mm. i'm gonna say okay i see a, i see a pattern and i see a pattern i see chat pattern The whole, yeah, search a pattern here. We have like an, uh, a descending triangle. So basically, descending triangle marks uh, the continuation of a of a downtrend. Sometimes can be can be a break above, but if you have a break above, we have we should wait for it just in case the price goes above and breaks this line. Let me show you with some. Yeah. In case the price goes above. Why do we have like uh why am I saying we have a descending triangle here? Because we are like we have we have two lower levels here at the support at the same level, guys, and we have we have descending, we have descending lows, we have descending lows here, we have lower lows, guys, as you can see. So I'm saying that we have a descending triangle, and I'm quite sure of it. So in case we go up, the price breaks the line there is there might be there is always if there is a break above there is always always a retest guys always just know that look for retest or pullbacks there will be a pullback and if the price pounds it will bounce in this line then it will go up again then you can take your sell you can, sorry you can take your buy now okay you see that you can take your buy there okay in case there is a price there is a break below there is a break below just in case there's a break below look for oh, i guess there's a block below also look for the same thing look for retest you look for a retest after a retest you expect a some some people may not understand what what our latest is and i'm gonna show you quite soon because many people are okay you see you look for those latest on this level and also latest on that level in case there's a break but meanwhile there's no break just go for the pullbacks for entries guys if you want to enter and I'm just using one minute, uh, one hour, sorry, one hour time frame because the one hour time frame is the best way like, to use for analysis for me. But for entries, I use the 15 minutes, as you can see, the 15 minutes, and also I use the 30 minutes, most of the 30 minutes for entries and so on. Okay, some people might not understand the latest. Let me show you. We had a break in this level here. We had a symmetrical triangle here. We had a symmetrical triangle. Put the lines in the body, guys. As I as I always tell you, the lines on the body and the recent body matters more than the past body. Guys, the recent body. Don't go and put the line here in this body. Recent body, like 
what I used here in the past are just weeks. The recent data matters more than the past data. Just know that. And also put the line on the body bounce, not on the weak bounce. Don't ever put on the weak bounce. If it's 15 minutes, whatever, guys, don't put on the weak bounce. Because they can lead to mixed signals. Okay. Now, we had a break above. As you can see, we had a retest. This is a retest. Now, after a retest, guys, you wait for a bounce back. There will always be a bounce back. If it goes down, you are safe. But if there's a retest, you wait for one candle, bullish candle. If it's a break above, then you buy after immediately after the bullish candle. So if if I was high, we had a retest here, I could have waited for this. Not this bullish candle. No. The first bull, like, okay. It, let's say this. I'm using a simple language. It broke above, then it went down. And it started going up. Just after going up, we wait for another candle to form, bullish candle. Because you're using 15 minutes, to, it, it should take long. It shouldn't take long, guys. You just wait for 15 minutes, the candle is off. Or 30 minutes, then the candle is done. And you buy just above the bullish candle. So that when you enter this trade, you could have entered with a sniper entry, guys. And you could have scalped that very well. Okay, guys. The same if we have a breakdown. If we have a breakdown. I'm just using this as an example, though it's not a break in this, just an example, let's not use it. Mm. I'm trying to show you a breakdown of a, of a, of a, of a, okay. Do you see this guys? This is the break below our resistance level, so, our uh, support level. There is already a retest. Some guys can use those who are trading using the support and resistance level can use this for entry to know that there's a continuation. Just let me zoom it for you. You don't buy in the break, no, because in the in the retest, you just wait for some bellish candle to form. Then immediate after that bellish candle, long bellish candle, candle indicating that there will be a, 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 a continuation. There is always a long bellish candle indicating that the, the sellers are coming in with high pressure. So by just below here, below the bearish candle, then you could have entered this trade. If you're using support and resistance, and that's an example only. So guys, the same is gonna happen here. Wait for a pullback. We had we had this one yesterday. Could have entered here, and then could have like yeah, break even. You could have break even right now. So anyway, watch for the pullbacks if you wanna enter now, or if you want for a perfect signal, wait for a break below the break above. That's all guys, thank you.